As you know, alchemy is sort of an ancient art in which people were really looking for the secret to health and immortality, and it's been characterized as a practice in which people are trying to create the philosopher's stone, which conveys to the person who owns it immortal, immortal life, uh, and also the quest to turn base metals into gold. Okay? So base metals are, well, are pretty much anything other than gold, although silver and, and platinum were considered pretty uh, noble in themselves. And the alchemical symbols for copper and silver and gold are written up here on the board. Copper is represented by the planet Venus, and so has the same symbol. Silver by the moon, and gold by the sun. So there were connections between alchemy and astrology. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate a process in which uh, you take copper pennies and turn them into silver pennies and then turn them into gold pennies. So in the classic alchemical tradition, <coughs> I won't tell you what the secrets of the process are, but before we can get it going, we have to get this boiling. So, now that the solution is boiling, I'm going to take these pennies and I'm going to put them in there. Spread them around a little bit. In a process that takes a little bit of time, the pennies are now in contact with pieces of zinc in a strong solution of sodium hydroxide. It must be heated strongly to make the reaction happen quickly enough for it to be useful in a demonstration. Even so, with so many pennies in the beaker, it's taking quite a while. As you can see, the pennies have already begun to take on a silver color. Now, I've rinsed the sodium hydroxide off of the pennies before I show them to the class. As you can see, I can turn copper into silver. Get out. <coughs> Way out. <laughs> Which is pretty amazing, but I can take the process one alchemical step further and turn silver into gold. And what, of course, could be more magical than flame? What I'm going to do next is take each penny, and I want to turn from silver into gold. Okay, that's a little too much of a close-up, I think. I'm going to take each penny that I'm going to turn from silver into gold, and put it in the fire. And now it's gold. Let's get a close up on that. It's magic. <laughs> How long do they stay like that? Once I turn them to gold, they'll stay like that for quite a long time. If you use the penny, it will eventually wear off <clears throat> because it is, of course, not really gold. What I've done instead is. I put it in that solution and heated it up so the reaction would be quick enough. Uh, I coated it first with zinc. So it was not really silver, it was zinc. But it was just a thin, thin coating on top of the copper. And then when I heat it in the flame, zinc has a melting point of around 400 degrees. And when you put it in the flame, it actually melts the zinc. And it dissolves a little bit of the copper in the surface of the penny. And when you mis mix copper, with zinc, you get brass. And brass has this beautiful golden color. So there you go. Apparently, alchemy, but not.